Pisces, someone thinks that you're psychic, okay? Someone feels like you know more than you say, all right? They also feel like you know things about them that they wouldn't want you to know, okay? And this is not something that they would tell you. This is something that you would pick up energetically, okay? I'm getting Pisces, a lot of you, you read between the lines. You pick up the emotional cues. You pick up body language, all right? You may not even know that you do this, but you're reading people's energy, all right? You see right through people is what I'm hearing. With the hermit here, Pisces, someone feels like you keep to yourself, like you mind your own business, you do your own thing, but you know more than you say, okay? And it makes them uncomfortable is what I'm getting here. With the three of cups, it also feels, Pisces, like when people meet you, they feel like you're some kind of a soulmate or you're some kind of um, soul family or soul tribe. People feel very comfortable with you, feel a very familiar energy about you, like they've known you before, okay? So they may even think that you're a soulmate, but the thing is, you have this effect on people in general, okay? Like, this is just how you roll. This is how you do it, Pisces. It's something about your energy. It's something about your intuition. Pisces, I'm hearing psychic, okay? Someone thinks, someone thinks that you're a psychic or someone knows that you're a psychic, okay? Or that you have psychic gifts. Because there's no way that you would have known that is what I'm hearing, all right? Like, they haven't told a soul, but you know things about them that they wouldn't want you to know is what I'm hearing. Pisces, you read energy, okay? You body language, you pick up on the cues, you read between the lines. Pisces, some of you, you were born this way, okay? You may be so used to doing this that you may not even realize that you're doing it, okay? It may be so natural to you, but other people don't have this gift. Tell me more, Holy Spirit, tell me more. Okay, we have the Four of Cups in the reverse. We have the Five of Cups in the upright, and we have the Two of Wands. For some of you, Pisces, some people may feel a bit uneasy around you, okay? Because they feel like you can tell what they're feeling. Like you can feel into their emotions. With the Five of Cups, if someone is sad or someone's depressed or someone's trying to hide it behind a smile or pretend that everything's okay, you know that there's something more to it. You know that there's something that they're trying to hide. They can't hide anything from you is what I'm hearing, Pisces. Two of Wands, Four of Cups in the reverse. Yeah, Pisces, someone can be doing the most. Someone can pretend everything's okay. Someone can be faking a smile, you know, faking a laugh or a joke, but you know what's truly going, what's truly going on beneath the surface with the four of cups in the reverse. Yeah, if someone is sad or depressed or dissatisfied, you can pick up on that, Pisces. You, you feel into what's really going on, okay? You don't just listen to their words. You read the energy is what I'm getting. Tell me more about this from it for Pisces. Tell me more. Okay, we got the king of wands. And we have the Knight of Wands. Pisces, people see you as some kind of a free spirit, okay? Someone who does their own thing, someone who minds their own business, someone who's very individualistic. Like, you you like to have your own thing going on, okay? I'm also hearing trendsetter, okay? Uh, with this Knight of Wands, you may be very unconventional. I'm hearing not normal, okay? But in a good way is what I'm getting. I'm hearing free spirits, King of Wands, yeah, you own it, Pisces, okay? You own it. You want to be different. You want to stand out, all right? You know a lot of people that are not um, that are not fully embracing themselves or their power. It's like they try and blend in. They try to be, you know, like everybody else, like the crowd. They try and be normal, quote-unquote, but it's like you own it, Pisces. And that may be intimidating to other people, the fact that you're so authentic and genuine, but it's like you own it, okay? There's a, there's a power and confidence that comes with that, okay? I'm feeling Pisces a very powerful energy, but it also feels like a lone wolf energy, like a solo energy. I'm hearing solopreneur, okay? Some of you may be entrepreneurs or business owners, but it's like you, you call the shots in your life. We also have the emperor energy coming in as well. Yeah, you're the boss, Pisces, in your life. You're the authority, all right? You don't listen to other people. Um, you don't, you don't do what other people tell you to do is what I'm hearing, Pisces. Like, you like to do your own thing. You're very individualistic. And for the Pisces that I'm speaking to, you've been this way since the beginning. Like, you were born this way, Pisces. Some people may try and hide, um, you know, these characteristics or certain things that make them stand out. But it's like, no, you own it, okay? Like, you want to be different. You don't want to be like the rest. You don't want to be, quote unquote, like normal, okay? Tell me more about the Hermit for Pisces, Holy Spirit. Tell me more. What do you want Pisces to know? Wow, that's a lot of cards, Pisces. I'm not going to take those cards. I'm only going to get a few more cards. Holy Spirit, clarify the Hermit for Pisces. Clarify the Hermit for Pisces. What do you want Pisces to know about the Hermit? Tell me more. 
Okay, we have the three of pentacles, we have the page of wands in the reverse, and the two of pentacles in the upright. For some of you Pisces, um, I'm going to say it the way that it's coming in, but you like to do your own thing, okay? Some of you may not be, I don't want to say team players, but you may not blend in or you may not play nice with everybody, okay? Not to say that you're not nice, okay? But I'm getting with the pentacles and the page of wands in the reverse. Some of you Pisces, um, it's like you'd rather do your own thing than be a part of a group, okay? Or some kind of a group setting. All right, that's what I'm getting here because the Three of Pentacles talks about uh, teamwork, groups, collaboration, coming together to build something. But I'm getting you more as a solo energy, okay? As a leader, as a guide, okay? You hold that torch of light for other people. You light the way. I'm getting that a lot of you Pisces, you're the first in your family, in your community, in your friend group to do something, okay? You're the way shower is what I'm getting. Yeah, it's like you're holding that torch of light. You're lighting the way for others, Pisces. So people view you as an authority, people view you as some kind of a leader. Yeah, and I'm getting here that you may not do very well in groups or in group settings, okay? I don't know for who that is. I feel like I'm talking to someone very specific here because hermit energy is about doing your own thing. You're your own inner mentor. You're your own sage, your own guide. Um, you find your answers in solitude. You don't go to other people to ask for advice or answers. You have that within you already. You know that, Pisces. I feel like a lot of you Pisces, if this reading resonates and I'm getting chills as I say this, a lot of you, you were born advanced or with uh, heightened spiritual gifts, all right, with heightened sensitivity. So you can pick up on a lot of things, Pisces, that you may not even know that you do this because it's so natural to you. But yeah, you don't do very well in group settings is what I'm getting here. You like to do your own thing. You're a leader. You're a guide. You're a way shore, okay? You're lighting the way for other people in your life, Pisces. Some of you, I don't want to just throw that out there, but some of you may be light workers is what I'm getting. Yeah, King of Wands energy. Pisces, I feel like a lot of you... I don't want to say that you're fearless, okay? But it's like you've done things that other people haven't done. Whether it's in your community, in your family, like you've trailblazed. You've gone, you've gone the extra mile, Pisces. If there was no path, if there was no way, you trailblazed it, okay? You made the way for yourself. And it takes a lot of courage. A lot of people may see that in you, Pisces, and they may be intimidated because they're not able to do that, okay? They stay where it's safe in the group, all right? But with the lion... You're very fierce, you're very courageous. Not to say that you're not afraid, but you still do it. You still go for it. Some of you Pisces, you're very unconventional or you've done things that your family uh, wouldn't do, okay? If someone is used to kind of living a certain way and everybody just kind of falls in line, you're the one that's been like the black sheep of the family, okay? You're the one that's been the trailblazer, the one that's kind of broken out of that mold. Like you were born different, you were born this way, Pisces. Two of Pentacles, a lot of people, they don't understand you fully, okay? It's like they want to understand you, they try to understand you, but you're very different. They don't, they don't get the way that you move, they don't understand the way that you think, the way that you do things with this Two of Pentacles. But I'm getting, Pisces, that your energy is very, very strong and it may be intimidating to other people because the fears that hold other people back don't hold you back. Okay, not to say that you're not afraid, but you're still gonna do it. Okay, even if you gotta go at it alone, you still go your own way. For a lot of you, Pisces, I feel like you've already known what your purpose is, what your calling is, and this is why you're so certain within yourself. I'm hearing the word assertive. Okay, like some people are intimidated because you're so assertive. Tell me more about this King of Wands for Pisces. Tell me more. Yeah, we have the Emperor and the King of Wands. These are very powerful masculine energies. And Pisces, you're very dualistic. You're masculine and feminine. You can swim in and out of these energies, Pisces, as it best serves you, as it best suits you. But I'm feeling a very strong masculine energy for whoever I'm speaking to, whether you're male or female, okay? This Pisces that I'm speaking to, you got the Emperor and the King of Wands and the Knight of Swords, okay? These are strong masculine energies. We don't have any feminine energies here on the table just yet. Yeah, even the Knight of Wands is more masculine in the approach, okay? Both of these knights are masculine. 
So Pisces, a lot of you, you're being advised to really tune into your masculine energy. And that is the energy of doing, taking action, you know, kicking down doors, taking names. Okay. There's something here that you're being guided to do. For some of you, you're starting a new business, maybe a new project. Maybe you're venturing out on your own. I don't know what you're doing, Pisces, but the King of Wands is an energy of taking action. The Knight of Swords is an energy of executing. Okay. And the Emperor is someone who holds the power, who's in control. So a lot of people may feel your masculine energy and that may be intimidating is what I'm getting. And the fact that you do your own thing, it's like they can't hold it against you, okay? A lot of the times when you're a part of a group, people try and fit in. People try to, you know, be, um, be like the rest of the people so they don't do anything to stand out. And I'm getting here that you're very unapologetic, like you're going to say what you need to say. You're going to say what's on your mind. And some people may not like that, okay, because it doesn't align with the group rules or the group dynamic. But that's what I'm getting. You're a lone wolf, okay? You're not like the rest of the sheep. You're different. So your difference may scare other people because they don't know how to handle you. They don't know how to... They don't know how to... I'm hearing handle. I don't know what that means, okay? I don't know if that is... Like they don't know how to treat you, okay? It's like they, they feel like they're walking on eggshells around you because you're not like the rest of the people that they're used to dealing with, okay? So they don't know how to approach you in a sense because you're very different. I'm hearing unpredictable, okay? Uh, but I'm not necessarily getting that you're unpredictable. You're just different. So they haven't met a person like you is what I'm getting. Tell me more about this King of Wands or Pisces. Tell me more, Holy Spirit. What do you want Pisces to know about this King of Wands? We have the king of cups wow pisces are you kidding me look how many masculine energies we have on the table we have the emperor we have the knight of swords we have the king of wands we have the king of cups and the knight of wands okay so a lot of strong masculine energy showing up in your reading yeah pisces i feel like a lot of you you feel a lot more comfortable in your masculine energy than you do in your feminine okay but you have both of them pisces is literally the sign of duality okay the moon and the sun black and white feminine masculine you can swim in and out of energies and yes sometimes it is extreme sometimes it is very dualist a lot of you you feel safer or more comfortable when you're in your masculine energy i don't know for who that is but you feel protected and then we have the star Aquarius energy. So we have a uh, fire water. Okay. The emperor is either Aries or Capricorn and then the star is Aquarius Pisces, I feel like a lot of you you're in this go-getter mode Okay, you're in this mode of taking action because there's something here that you're wanting to manifest with the star Okay, this is all about making dreams come true. This is all about going after your goals Okay, and reeling in a star so what I'm getting here, Pisces, the reason why there's so much masculine energy coming in is because you're ready to take action. You're ready to execute. You're, you're ready to get things done. I'm hearing no more excuses. I don't know for who that is. A lot of you, Pisces, you're taking massive accountability over your life and it's starting to show up in the results that you're getting in your day-to-day -day life. So some of you, Pisces, you may be very determined on accomplishing something or making something happen. After some kind of um, disappointment or disillusionment, okay? Some of you Pisces, I'm not going to lie. Some of you may have been in your feelings for a little bit. Maybe you got hurt uh, with this five of cups, but it's like no more, all right? You're taking full ownership, control, and power over the situation and over your life in order to manifest a dream is what I'm getting here. Yeah, you got the king of wands. This is an action taker, the king of cups. You understand why you're doing things. You're able to connect with this dream, with this vision from a place of emotions, but it's balanced. Okay, it's like water and fire. You got a very beautiful balance happening within you, Pisces. I'm hearing nothing's gonna stop you, okay? The Knight of Swords is someone who's able to go tunnel vision on a goal, okay? And no one can get in his way. He's very determined, okay? He will get rid of distractions. He'll get rid of people that try and stop him and get in his way. And I'm saying he, but it can be he or she. I'm just getting a lot of masculine energy showing up, Pisces. Yeah, it's like if you were in your feelings, if you were hurt, Pisces, if someone hurt your feminine energy, okay? And feminine energy is all about, you know, giving and also receiving and um, opening up, okay? And showing up authentically. But if someone took advantage of that energy, Pisces, you may have really just switched up. 
and tuned into your masculine energy and no one can f with the masculine okay this is why masculine protects and provides so i'm getting pisces that some of you you were trusting someone okay enough to open up your feminine energy okay and everybody men and women or male or female both have that feminine and masculine energy but when you trust someone when you open up to someone that's the feminine energy so if someone took advantage of your feminine energy if someone hurt you all right you're in your masculine now they can't mess with you all right you're not gonna budge is what i'm getting here Pisces, you switched up on someone and they did not expect this. They did not expect this side of you. Someone may have seen you as compassionate, as generous, as loving and kind and giving. I'm even hearing the word nice, okay? Uh, I don't really like the word nice. I like the word kind. But someone may have viewed that as a weakness. Someone may have taken advantage of your feminine energy and now you completely switch. Pisces is the sign that is fully able to shut out their emotions, okay? It's like one minute, Pisces, you can be feeling so intensely, okay? Like your emotions can be felt very, very deeply. You can feel everything times a thousand. But once you switch Pisces, they're not getting the same Pisces back. You can completely shut out your emotions and go cold. And that's what I'm getting, Pisces. You were open, generous, kind, and giving to someone, and they hurt your feminine energy, and now you're in your masculine. Okay, and they can't F with you, they can't mess with you, is what I'm hearing. Someone did this to you, Pisces, all right? Because I'm feeling hurt feelings with the Five of Cups. But this is past tense, okay? So someone hurt you, Five of Cups in the upright, um, to the Four of Cups in the reverse, okay? It took you a while, Pisces. Some of you, you may have wallowed a little bit, okay, in this energy. But all of a sudden, boom, the hermit. You pull your energy away, you go cold, you go distant, and it's like you claim your power. You regain this side of you, Pisces. You're remembering who the F you are is what I'm hearing here, Pisces. Emperor to the King of Wands, to the King of Cups, Knight of Swords, Knight of Wands. Nobody's going to stop you, okay? Someone, Pisces, may have showed up in your life and you may have gotten your hopes up, all right? But you realize that you can't count on that. You can't just get your hopes up or put that kind of um, power in someone else's hands, okay? You took your power back. You reclaimed your energy. You pulled away. Okay, I'm hearing stonewalling, okay? Someone can't access your energy anymore. Someone can't gain access to you anymore. Yeah, it's like you put up some kind of an ice wall, all right? Someone can't reach you. Someone doesn't know where you are or what you're doing. You just disappeared is what I'm hearing. Tell me more about this hermit for Pisces. Tell me more, Holy Spirit. Yeah, you disappeared, okay? You went MIA is what I'm hearing. They don't know where you're at. They don't know what you're up to. I'm hearing, where's Pisces? Where did Pisces go? I'm hearing someone say, where's my Pisces, okay? So some of you Pisces, this is a person that you already knew. But I'm hearing, where's my Pisces? Tell me more. Tell me more about this hermit, Holy Spirit. Justice. Are you kidding me, Pisces? Major Arcana, Major Arcana. Yeah, this is divine justice. They have no right to you anymore. They have no rights over your energy over your time, over your resources. This is divine justice in our being, Pisces. Someone lost access to you, okay? You revoked your access, you reclaimed your power, and now you're in emperor mode. You're no longer getting the soft, kind, beautiful, I don't know why I'm hearing squishy Pisces, okay? Like you may have shown up in this feminine energy that was very approachable, very loving, okay? Um, I'm hearing cuddly, okay? I don't know why I'm getting these words, Pisces, but with this Three of Cups, it feels like a very friendly energy, okay? Uh, I'm hearing cute, okay? I don't know why that's coming in, but they're no longer getting that Pisces, okay? You're the emperor now. And I'm hearing, Pisces, that they are afraid or intimidated because they've never seen the side of you, right? You gave this person the benefit of the doubt and you were very loving and kind, but they don't know that you can just switch up, okay? If someone takes advantage of you, if someone does you wrong, you're gonna switch up. That cute little fishy turns into a great white shark, okay? And they were not expecting that. Yeah, but it's divine justice. Someone took advantage of your kindness. Someone took advantage of you, Pisces, and now justice is they no longer have access to you. There's a block, Pisces. There's some kind of a force field here protecting you. They don't know where you're at. They don't know what you're up to. Some of them, Pisces, they're trying to contact you, but some of you, you may have blocked and deleted. They have no way to access you again. And that's justice, okay? This is what they get. They don't get a second chance. Tell me more about justice, Holy Spirit. Tell me more. 
This is divine intervention, okay? Justice is represented by Archangel Michael, as you can see here. She's holding the sword in the balance. Archangel Michael is always depicted as holding the sword of truth in the balance. So for some of you Pisces, if you relate or if you connect or resonate with the reading, you're protected by Archangel Michael, okay? Like this is one of your angels. Tell me more, Holy Spirit. Clarify justice for Pisces. Tell me more. We got the Eight of Pentacles. We got the Empress. Wow. Okay, so this is exactly what I'm getting here, Pisces. We got the Eight of Cups at the bottom of the deck. You walked away, okay? Their karma, the justice is they're no longer going to see you again. They're no longer going to ever hear about you again. You're not going to give them a second chance is what I'm getting. They completely lost access, okay? No second chances is what I'm hearing. All right, and pair with that justice to clarify, we have the Eight of Pentacles and the Empress. A lot of you Pisces, right now, all your focus, all your energy, all your resources is going to your craft. It's going to your work, to your career, to your business. Okay, the Eight of Pentacles is all about getting to work. Okay, focusing on the things that are going to build you. All right, this is all about long term. This is all about generational wealth. And then we have the Empress right next to the Eight of Pentacles. Pisces, a lot of you, we have the Empress and the Emperor, okay? I just noticed that this is the divine match. But for a lot of you, I'm getting that this is you. This is your divine feminine energy. This is your divine masculine energy. You're holding complete. You don't need someone else, Pisces. You are your other half is what I'm hearing. Yeah, you don't really need them, Pisces. So justice showing up. Justice is here to protect the Empress. You are the Empress. You have a lot to give. And anything you touch turns into gold. So some people, Pisces, may literally come around for the wrong reasons. They may want to manifest off of your energy. Pisces, it's like they get some kind of good luck off of your energy. They're able to manifest off of your energy. They're protected through your energy, all right? But again, the three being the Empress is now being protected by the Justice, number 11. They can no longer gain access to this version of you. You're no longer the Empress for them, okay? Yeah, it's like you have to protect yourself, Pisces. You have to protect this aspect of you because these people are only going to take, all right? So yeah, this is their karma. This is the justice coming in. I'm hearing divine intervention. Spirit had to divinely intervene in this connection. Seven, natural law balance karma, okay? Yes, this is their karma, Pisces. This is divine justice. Truth, wisdom, legal matters, fairness, cause and effect, integrity, objectivity, perspective, and accountability. You took accountability, called your power back to you, and you revoked access. I'm hearing stonewalling, okay? They're no longer getting the Empress. They're no longer getting the sweet, kind Pisces, okay? You went shark mode on someone, Pisces. You completely switched is what I'm getting here. And even if it wasn't your fault, even if it was on them, you took accountability enough to walk away. Eight of Cups at the bottom of the deck. Four of Swords... You're doing the healing work on yourself, Pisces. And this is why you're in your power, all right? You're on your throne is what I'm hearing. Justice asks you to learn from your past experiences. The good, the bad, and the fugly. Take it all and grow from it. This energy is not about perfection, but about fairness and honesty. It highlights clarity of motivation and intention. And it asks you to be realistic about the cause and effect of your thoughts and actions. Seek balance. Um... Seek to balance your growth with positivity, shadow, and learn from the many different parts of you. In your current situation, be impartial as you reframe your reality and work to remove any negative emotional charge from the equation. If fear is causing you to act in a way that you aren't proud of, seek a variety of perspectives before judging another person's actions to be good or bad. The only true path ahead of you is not one that is necessarily black or white, but it is always one of love. My good karma is delightfully loving and it can be the most motivating of teachers. So Pisces, this person's getting bad karma while you're getting good karma. And the thing that I'm getting here, Pisces, is yes, yeah, someone hurt you, right? You were in your feelings for a little bit, but you recovered. You fully claimed your power and this person's not getting any second chances, okay? Now you have positive karma coming into your life while they're having to pay the price, okay? And paying the price is they lost you. They lost you for good, Pisces, is what I'm hearing. No second chances. Holy Spirit, tell me more about this Empress for Pisces. What do you want Pisces to know about the Empress? What do you want Pisces to know about the Empress? I'm hearing Pisces protect your feminine energy, all right? Because there's takers out there who will take as long as you allow it. Clarify this Empress for Pisces, Holy Spirit. Tell me more. We have the Sun, Major Arcana, Leo energy. We have the Six of Pentacles. 
We have the devil, Capricorn energy. And we have the ace of swords in the reverse. Pisces, someone was hoping that you wouldn't find out the truth, okay? That you would stay stuck in a situation. Because the devil, as you can see here, you see how he's extending his hand out? Someone wanted to take from your energy, okay? This devil energy wanted to take from you. And this person could have had um, toxic um, characteristics. They could have been a very toxic person. Um, they could have been narcissistic. They could have been a taker, someone who has some kind of addiction, all right? But they were willing to take from this Empress, Pisces. And as you can see here, you see this puppet, okay? They were trying to string you along. They were trying to keep you tied to them as long as they could. And the Ace of Swords in the reverse, they were trying to hide some truths. They were hoping that you wouldn't find out the truth so that you would just stay there, okay? So that they could continue to gain access to your energy. But some way, somehow, Pisces, you broke free, all right? The sun energy. A lot of people, Pisces, want to drink from your cup. A lot of people want to gain access to your energy, okay? And now you're just a memory, all right? Six of cups to the seven of swords, all right? A lot of people have done you wrong and they've lost access to you. Okay, but your energy is very hard to forget. Okay, you are like this beam of light is what I'm getting. And this is why the devil is here. This talks about addictions and obsession. You may have a lot of people that may think that they love you. Okay, but they are just truly just hooked on your energy. They're obsessed. Okay, it's like they got a taste of your energy and they feel entitled. Okay, they feel entitled to your energy. They feel like they should have access to you. But again, Ace of Swords in the reverse through lies and holding back the truth, hoping that you don't find out, hoping that you don't see clearly. And finally, there's a breakthrough. Finally, the light breaks through and you find out the truth. And when justice shows up, Pisces, this is spirit. This is spirit taking control. This is spirit stepping in, okay, and making something right. So if you felt like you were done wrong, Pisces, or no one was in your corner, no one was there to fight for you, okay, spirit is intervening in this connection. Rejection is God's protection is what I'm hearing, Pisces. Yeah, this is Archangel Michael energy. I'm feeling some kind of higher protection over your life because you have some kind of a calling, Pisces, that you're serving at this time. And some people, again, may be attracted to your energy because the sun and the empress, okay, this is a very beautiful energy that you bring to the table. But people just want access, okay? So not everybody that comes to you, Pisces, is meant to be in your life, okay? And having all these major arcanas on the table, this is a very powerful reading for a lot of you, Pisces. You may find that you attract a lot of attention, but not all of this attention is wanted. Not all of this attention is positive. So there's something here, Pisces, about protecting yourself and protecting your energy from takers, from vampires. Yeah, this is an energy vampire. They want to leech on is what I'm hearing. And for a lot of you, Pisces, I'm feeling that this person used to be able to look at your pictures or just think about you or think about your voice. And it's like they could gain access to your energy. But right now, there's some kind of a stonewall, kind of a blockage or force field that is protecting you. So even when this person thinks of you, they can't access your energy. All right. It's like there's some kind of a block there. And it's like they're looking at pictures or rereading an old conversation to try and gain access to your energy, but they can't. You're fully protected is what I'm hearing. Six of Pentacles. Whatever this exchange was, Pisces, um, it was toxic, okay? It was not beneficial to you. This person needed you, but you didn't need them is what I'm hearing. Pisces, I'm being guided to tune into this devil energy, okay? Some of you, you already know who this person is, okay? Could be a Capricorn or could just be someone who is obsessed, okay? Or obsessive or has some kind of addictions or is just some kind of a karmic or toxic person, all right? But I'm being guided to tune into this energy because they're still in your field, all right? You may not think about this person. You may not even want this person around you, but they're thinking about you is what I'm getting here with the devil, all right? Again, it's like they feel some kind of connection to you, all right? They feel like there's something more to this connection. But the seven of swords at the bottom of the deck, yeah, this person is um, this person is in their shadow, all right? They will lie, manipulate, do whatever it takes to get what it is that they want, okay? And they got no remorse about that Pisces. If they have any regrets, it's a regret of getting caught, not a regret of what they did. And we have the six of cups. Yeah, memories, they're missing. 
right? They're missing you. But that doesn't mean that they're showing up correct. Okay, this is a toxic person, Pisces. This is why divine justice is here. You didn't deserve that, okay? This is why spirit is intervening in this connection. I'm feeling a lot of angels, Pisces, or a lot of protection around you from this person. Vices, the grip of addiction, a need for liberation, healthy versus unhealthy sexuality, materialism, healing found in darkness, delving into your shadow self, being trapped in their own stories, manipulation, lying, temptation. You were some kind of temptation to this person, okay? They were hooked on your energy or found some kind of addiction to your energy, Pisces. Again, you're showing up as the sun in the This is some of the best energy in the entire tarot deck, okay? So yeah, this person got hooked on you, the devil. They got addicted, Pisces. The devil reaches out his hand, granting a release from the mundane with promises of earthly and material pleasures. While sometimes this release is healthy and necessary, he hides the fact that he offers everything you can become addicted to. From alcohol, drugs, work, and sex, to more nuanced addictions like codependent relationships or how others make you feel. Anything that can entrap you or overtake your life can be harmful in excess. The devil is a nudge to delve into your own shadows. He will bring you there. Then it's up to you to either fall fully into darkness or to work on healing your own relationship with your beautiful heart. Okay, Pisces, this is important. Illuminate the things that are vying for your time, your energy, and your love that leave you feeling empty. And I just got full body chills, okay? How did you feel after this connection or after this relationship or after any interacting with this person did this person make you feel empty okay did they make you feel exhausted pisces because that's exactly what i'm seeing here they are vying for your time your energy and your love while leaving you feeling empty right they're takers they're energy vampires is what i'm hearing remember that addictions don't necessarily look scary and demonic until they do seek liberation from the bindings that are keeping you trapped and untether yourself in darkness look for fragmented aspects of self as a source of light in the darkness, I am free to heal everything. So Pisces, I would just say, be careful with people from your past, all right? You have some really good energy about you. And I feel like a lot of you Pisces, you know that, but that energy is meant to be protected. Not anyone can drink from your cup, okay? Not anyone can just gain access to you. And I'm feeling Pisces, the sense of letting you know that with all this masculine energy showing up for you, there's a need to protect your energy. There's a need to protect yourself, your time and your resources. Because there's something here that you're wanting to manifest, all right? And if these people are showing up as takers, okay, this can take you off the path. This can distract you from what's truly important to you. And I'm getting that what's truly important, what truly matters is the star, some kind of dream or goal that you're trying to manifest at this time. And this is where your attention and focus should be, Pisces, not with these people, okay? And I'm getting a specific person here, all right, with this devil energy. They're toxic, Pisces. For some of you, this was a karmic, okay? Straight up, it was a karmic person. Yeah, I don't like that energy, okay? We have the hangman at the bottom of the deck. You're going to start to see things, Pisces, from a different perspective, all right? If you were so um, giving or loving or just open to just about anybody, okay? Or just giving people the benefit of the doubt, there's a need to rethink your approach, all right? Because a lot of people, 35, 35 on the clock, are going to be attracted to your energy but not everybody deserves to be you know a part of your inner circle not everybody deserves access to you pisces and it's your responsibility to protect yourself okay to protect your energy because i'm seeing here that whatever happened in the situation it was unfair okay and you did not deserve that the divine had to intervene spirit had to intervene in this connection to make things right to rebalance everything okay because it took you off course, four of cups in the reverse. Wow, Pisces, I don't know who you're dealing with, okay? I don't know who this person is, but they like what you have. They like what you've made out of yourself and they wanna take it, okay? And I'm getting Pisces that this person may have been very obsessive, okay? They obsessively think about you. Tell me more about this devil energy. What do you want Pisces to know about this devil energy? Tell me more. Tell me more, Holy Spirit. If you're thinking about this person randomly throughout the day, it's because they're thinking about you, okay? And I'm getting for some of you, Pisces, they may even try and enter your dream state, okay? I don't know for who that is. Tell me more about this devil energy. Wow, Pisces, we got the lovers, okay? This is intense, all right? This is an intense connection that even if you wanted to forget, even if you just wanted to let it go, 
it's very very intense the devil to the lovers right this is um i don't want to say pisces twin flames okay i don't want to say that i don't even want to say karmics but it's a very intense connection if you were connected to this person like physically emotionally spiritually mentally okay you got to make sure that you're cutting those cords you got to make sure that you're cleansing your energy all right if you no longer want to hear from this person, if you no longer want them to keep taking your energy, right? There's a need to really sever ties here, Pisces, because this connection I'm getting was very intense. We have the Page of Swords. Some of you, Pisces, you're trying to understand why this connection was so intense or why it hurt you so deep. You're trying to make sense of things. You're trying to learn what it was, what it meant, what it was about, okay? You're trying to give yourself that closure. You're trying to understand what happened so that you don't repeat that again, okay? Because I'm getting for a lot of you, it caught you off guard. You were not expecting this. Tell me more about this devil, Holy Spirit. Tell me more. The world. Oh, Pisces. Okay, this is a very good sign. A lot of you, you're bringing closure, okay? You're fully closing this out successfully, right? You're not leaving any loose ends, okay? You're tying everything up right you're closing the cycle you're doing the healing work you're understanding you're learning the lesson and you're picking yourself back up you're reclaiming your power and you're moving forward okay but it's very important that you know pisces that this cycle is closed officially yeah because some of you you may have been afraid that this person may have wanted to come back and keep you in this toxic cycle but i'm getting that yeah it was a very intense connection we have the lovers right that can talk about twin flames it can talk about karmic partners um but yeah those are some of the most toxic relationships sometimes um that love can turn into hate very easily okay that can become a very intense connection where everything everything burns so bright okay but that fire is put out very very quickly so it doesn't really last it's very very intense and strong but it doesn't last is what i'm hearing yeah, but with the world in the upright, you took a very healthy approach and you're doing the work to close the cycle properly. For a lot of you Pisces, um, you're never going to put yourself in that position again to be taken advantage of, okay? There's something here about reclaiming your power and staying in this position, okay, of the emperor, all right? Because if a lot of you, you felt safe enough with this person to open up and give them some access to your feminine energy with the empress, and they took advantage of that, okay? They betrayed your trust. Now you're the emperor. They can't mess with an emperor, all right? They may have tried to mess with the empress, but you're an emperor now. They can't take, okay? Tell me more, Holy Spirit. Tell me more about this devil energy. What do you want Pisces to know? What do you want Pisces to know? Two of Swords. Pisces, this person doesn't know where you went. They have no idea where you're at, what you're doing, okay? It's like they're trying to find information on you. They're asking about you and they feel completely like blindsided, okay? They did not see this coming. They didn't think that you would leave, that you would walk away, right? With this two of swords, they may even be trying to stalk or go on social media or ask about you because I'm getting for a lot of you, you may have blocked and deleted this person, all right? And they feel completely like blocked off okay from your energy stonewalled is what i'm hearing yeah the hermit you pulled your energy back they have no access even when they think of you pisces they can't access your energy anymore but this is done on a divine level because they took advantage of you pisces you best believe pisces this person is getting their karma right i don't know if they learned the lesson or not but i'm seeing that they're getting karma for what they did with the justice in the upright wow pisces i was not expecting this reading to take this turn okay i did not see this coming whatsoever but the good news is you got the star all your energy, all your resources, all your time is going to the star, okay? To this dream, to this goal, to something that you're wanting to manifest. And you're no longer letting any kind of distraction get in your way, okay? I'm feeling a lot of you, you're going tunnel vision, right? You're going full-on tunnel vision on this goal, on this dream, on this manifestation. Wow, Pisces. I just want to say congratulations, all right? Because I feel like you're very, very close to accomplishing something major. And it's because you're placing yourself first. You're prioritizing your needs and your wants, Pisces. You're no longer allowing people to get in the way. You could have been very friendly, very loving, very kind, very approachable. But you're realizing, Pisces, that 
a lot of the times this three of cups led you to the four of cups in the reverse right everything started off right okay everything looks so happy and positive and friendly okay but all of a sudden you find yourself in the four of cups okay and then that four of cups leads you to the five of cups just want to give a quick shout out to Keen. This is an online platform with a tons of different psychics that will be here 24 seven to answer any of your questions, give you advice uh, or guidance on any area of your life, whether it's love, relationships, money, career, business, your soul path, your spiritual purpose, or any kind of spiritual advice or guidance you may need. Uh, it doesn't matter where you are in the world, what your time zone is, it is a 24-7 service. So you can go ahead and select the option to talk to them on the phone or just chat. Um, I would just recommend scrolling through the profiles and looking at their pictures and names and seeing who stands out to you, who resonates most with you uh, before actually booking a session. And the best part about Keen is you actually get to decide how much time you spend with your psychic. So if you have a quick question that you need answered or you need a more in-depth reading, uh, my personal experience with Keen has been great so far. Uh, I don't know if I just got lucky, but the first psychic that I chose to uh, get a session with, everything she said came true. And not everything, not just everything she predicted that was going to happen. She also talked about what had been happening in the situation of my life and everything was spot on. So uh, I would just suggest going through a few psychics until you find one that you truly resonate with because they all have different styles of reading. Uh, but yes, Keen actually has a really good deal going on right now to get your first five minutes for just one dollar the link will be in the description box below if you're interested in booking a session there's been a lot of disappointments a lot of hurt a lot of uh, hurt feelings and pain in a lot of friendships and relationships and maybe even family connections pisces some people have really let you down all right and i'm seeing that a lot of you you're kind of just done with it right you just want to do the things that you can control the things that are going to guarantee your success instead of placing your power in someone else's hands because time after time four of cups to the five of cups it led to some kind of major disappointment heartbreak um and yeah disillusionment okay everything started off so right okay everything felt good in the beginning but then you know hurt feelings pain Wow, Pisces, I want to say I'm proud of you, okay, because this Eight of Pentacles shows that you're working on yourself. You're working on your career, on your skills, on your experience, on your business, on your craft, okay? And this is gonna pay off, gonna pay off for you, Pisces, is what I'm seeing here, all right? You don't need to be a part of the group, you don't need to be a part of the crowd, all right? You got it on your own is what I'm hearing. You know what you gotta do, all right? You're taking action, you're executing. And again, with the hangman in the upright, you're starting to see things in a very different perspective, all right? For some of you Pisces, you're taking off the rose-colored glass and you're doing what needs to be done in order to get to where you want to be, all right? And in the extended, I'm going to clarify what the star is for you, Pisces. Uh, also, the challenges and spirit's advice and who's coming into your life, all right? But for this reading, I really want to dive into what happened in the situation because a lot of you, with this page of swords, you want to know exactly what happened you want to understand it you want to understand what happened pisces so that you don't repeat it again all right is what i'm hearing here because the page of swords is all about being a student all right uh doing your research learning understanding detaching yourself from your emotions and viewing things from a very logical perspective all right and understanding the facts of the situation not letting your emotions cloud your vision is what i'm getting here so for a lot of you pisces you're trying to fully understand the lesson in the situation, in this relationship, in this disconnect, so that you don't repeat it again is what I'm getting. For a lot of you, this is very important, okay? Because you're tired of being disappointed, you're tired of being let down. For a lot of you, you've poured your cups, okay? And nothing came from it, right? As you can see here, these are four empty cups and she's only left with one. Meaning that you may have tried something four times, you may have given someone four chances and all four times, all four chances, you ended up with empty cups. You ended up disappointed. So for a lot of you, it's like you want to understand what the lesson is. You want to learn why things happen, okay? Why someone did something, what the lesson is for you, what you could have done different um, so that you don't waste that fifth cup, okay? So there's something here that you're trying to learn, that you're trying to understand. 
okay? Some of you Pisces, you may even be going to coaching, you may be even reading books on narcissistic people or on relationships or on healing yourself, okay? But I'm getting this energy of a student, okay? I'm getting that a lot of you, you're doing your research, you're doing the work, okay? To understand why something happened so that you can fully close the cycle. Tell me more, Holy Spirit. Tell me more about this page of swords for Pisces. What is Pisces learning? What is Pisces learning? What is this about, Holy Spirit? Tell me more. Can I verify this page of swords? Seven of swords. Okay, yeah. You're learning about deceptive energies. You're learning about uh, people that manipulate. You're learning about people who lie, who cheat, who steal. Okay, you're learning about deception, why people do what they do. Okay, you're learning how to identify those red flags. We have the magician, okay, and we have the queen of pentacles. Okay, so for a lot of you Pisces, the magician, uh, when it's in the reverse, it talks about the shadow, okay? It talks about someone who can have hidden intentions, hidden motives, um, someone who does manipulate as well uh, is part of the shadow of the magician. So you're trying to understand, Pisces, why you manifested someone like that, okay? Why you allowed a person like that into your life, okay? You're trying to understand what what unhealed aspect within you attracted a person like that okay or you're trying to understand why you've manifested this lesson multiple times queen of pentacles yeah because you're showing up as a queen of pentacles all right you're showing up as someone who's very generous who's very giving who's very loving someone who has their stuff together okay like you got your ish together you know what you're doing you know what you want out of life Okay, you're showing up as someone who is in a position of power, all right? Someone who is a provider. So you're trying to understand why you keep attracting energies like this that just want to take from you. See how you're kind of just doing your own thing. You're sitting on your throne. You found this inner peace within yourself, but someone here is scheming. Someone here is strategizing. Someone has a knife in hand and they want to take, right? So you're trying to understand why you manifested this energy or why you attracted this lesson, okay, with the magician. Because the magician says, Pisces, you're a powerful manifester. So you're trying to understand how to better use your manifestation abilities so that you don't continue attracting people like this or so that you're able to identify people like this so that you don't give to them. Holy Spirit, what are your messages for Pisces? What are your messages for Pisces in regards to this reading? What are your messages for Pisces in regards to this reading, Holy Spirit? Tell me more. Tell me more, Holy Spirit. What are your messages for Pisces? What does Pisces need to know at this time? You're on the right path, Pisces. I just got chills all over my body. Yeah. Okay? Even if this has happened in your life, okay? Even if you attracted this kind of lesson, Pisces, Spirit wants you to know that you're on the right path, okay? No matter what happened, all right, I'm getting that you're learning this lesson very, very quickly. And the world is saying you're finalizing that cycle. You're fully closing that chapter and it's not going to repeat in your life again because you closed the chapter, you closed the cycle, you passed the grade, all right? Now the Knight of Swords. There's some determination, there's some kind of... It's like you have your sights set on a goal, Pisces, and you're going for that goal, you're going tunnel vision, and Spirit wants you to know that, yes, you're on the right path. Okay, you're about to make a dream a reality is what I'm hearing. So in case you are wondering, in case you wanted confirmation, Pisces, yes, you're on the right path. You did the right thing. Tell me more. Wow, Pisces, are you seeing this? Okay, we got love showing up in the cards for you. And we have the emperor and the empress. This is a divine counterpart. Some of you Pisces, you got someone coming in and I have chills. I keep getting chills in this reading when that happens, okay? The messages are resonating. It may not be for everybody, okay? But I'm speaking to at least one Pisces out there, okay? That just had to go through the situation that was very unpleasant, okay? I'm getting hurt feelings, all right? Like deep hurt is what I'm feeling here with the five of cups. But you're bouncing back very, very quickly and you're going from being an empress to being an emperor, all right? If someone took advantage of the empress, now you're the emperor, okay? They can't F with an emperor. But on the flip side, Pisces, as you're releasing this karmic, toxic energy of the devil, you're attracting new love into your life, all right? It's like you learn the lesson, okay? You're doing the work, you're studying, you're learning why, okay? What unhealed parts of you manifested this person or what caused you to manifest this lesson into your life? And you're fully closing that cycle. As you close the cycle, you got love coming in for real. 
I'm hearing this is true love. This is the real thing. Some of you Pisces may not even want it, okay? Because you've been going through so many lessons. But the most important part about this reading, Pisces, is that you learn the lesson, okay? Or you're in the process of mastering that lesson so that it doesn't repeat again, okay? You're realizing what your non-negotiables are. You're realizing what the red flags are, okay? What behaviors a person can exhibit, okay? That are going to uh, be non-negotiables for you, that you're not gonna put up with, that you're not gonna tolerate, that you're gonna take as a sign and you're gonna start to cut people off very, very quickly. You're not gonna give them the benefit of the doubt. But yeah, you're on the right path. You got love coming in. And finally, we have you're not alone, okay? So some of you Pisces, you may have felt like you were fighting this battle alone, like no one was in your corner, all right? With justice showing up, I'm feeling, again, angelic protection around you, right? Look at all these beings that surround you, Pisces right? You're highly protected in the spiritual realms, Pisces. You're not alone. You're not doing this by yourself. And again, I keep feeling heavy Archangel Michael energy around you. You're being protected, Pisces. Rejection is God's protection. Some of you wanted to understand why it didn't work out or why certain things uh, turned out to be this way, okay? You're trying to understand what you could have said, what you could have done different, okay? But sometimes it's just the person, okay? Sometimes the person is just toxic, Sometimes they're just karmic, okay? And you were this person's karma, okay? They may have been your lesson, but you were this person's karma. I'm hearing payback, Pisces. I don't know what that means, but I'm getting that on a spiritual level. This was divinely orchestrated, okay? To teach this person a lesson, right? Yeah, you were their karma. Justice is here. You placed a stop to this person's ways, to their shadiness, to their deception. And Pisces, in case you're doubting, okay, two different decks is basically saying the same thing, all right? You're highly protected. You're not alone. Wow, Pisces, I really was not expecting this message to go in this direction. Uh, in the extended, I want to know who's coming in because I'm getting that this is true love. This is real, okay? A lot of you are not expecting it, but we have the Empress and we have the Emperor. This is a divine match, okay? So I don't know who you were dealing with, Pisces, but this person's in the energy of the devil, right? So it could have been a Capricorn or it could have just been a karmic, toxic person, okay? We also have the lovers. So we have Capricorn, Gemini, all right? We got Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, and we have the King of Wands as well. So Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, okay? And we got Aries again with the Emperor. Um, so it could be any sign, Pisces, but these are the energies that are coming in the strongest. In the extended, I want to know who that is, okay? Uh, but before I wrap up this reading, I want to pull a few more cards, Pisces. Go ahead and see what comes in. Holy Spirit, channel through the messages that Pisces needs to hear most at this time in regards to this reading. What messages do you have for Pisces? Holy Spirit, what messages do you have for Pisces? Pisces, I'm getting chills. I've never had so many chills in a reading before, Pisces. We got life partner, all right? We have love coming in, okay? Empress to the emperor, and, and now we have life partner, okay? Three different decks. And then I'm seeing congratulations, okay? Yes, Pisces, you passed the test, you passed the level, all right? You're closing the cycle for good. You're not gonna repeat this lesson again, okay? And there's something here with the star that you're working on. You're manifesting a dream into reality, Pisces. I wanna look into this as well in the extended because this reading is almost at an hour here. So we got live partner, congratulations. And I'm gonna pull a few more messages before I move this over to the extended. Tell me more, Holy Spirit, tell me more. Yeah, this is the thing, Pisces. A lot of people, they get um, they get caught up on soulmates, on karmic partners, on twin flames, on a divine counterpart. And the thing is, Pisces, we do have a lot of soulmates, okay? So just because you met a soulmate, it doesn't mean that it's going to be forever, right? But when you meet a life partner, this is someone that you walk this journey of life with forever, okay? This is someone that you're going to share this experience with, not just someone that comes in to teach you a lesson, not just someone that comes in for a season or a reason. And for a lot of people, by the time that they get to their life partner, they're jaded, okay? Some people start to lose hope or faith that it's ever going to happen. But again, there's only one emperor to the empress. There's a lot of kings and queens, okay? But there's only one emperor, there's only one empress. A lot of you Pisces, 
in this new chapter, in this new cycle of your life, okay, because you've learned the lesson, because you're doing the work, you're about to meet that true love, that life partner that you get to walk this journey with, okay? And sometimes Pisces, people confuse that with passion or intensity in a relationship, okay? The lovers doesn't always lead to a life partner, okay? It can be a very intense connection, but it doesn't always lead to more, okay? But here I'm getting love and life partner, all right? So some of you may not even be looking, some of you may not even want it, okay? But that's one of the messages that is coming in, so I have to read the cards. But again, congratulations, because you're in the process of making a dream a reality. I don't know what this dream is for you, Pisces, specifically, but we're gonna go ahead and clarify in the extended. If you would like a personal reading, the information's in the description box below to book a reading. Let's go ahead and pull a few more messages. Okay, I have, I miss you, okay? Yeah, this person from the past is a karmic, okay? They are a toxic person, but yes, they do miss you. They do have some kind of addiction or obsession when it comes to your energy. Again, Pisces, you're showing up as the Empress in the Sun card. This is some bomb energy, okay? This is some really good energy. Um, yeah, they're hooked on you, okay? They miss you. They're reminiscing about you. They have memories, Pisces. Again, when they think of you, they feel like they no longer have access to your energy. It's like you went MIA, like, where's Pisces? And I was hearing specifically, where's my Pisces? Like, this person thinks that you're theirs, okay? Like, they feel like you're some kind of a soulmate to them, like it's meant to be. But the thing is, you have that effect on a lot of people, all right? They may not know that, Pisces. They may feel like this is something special, but to you, you have that effect on other people as well. But they miss you, okay? They didn't treat you well, though. Tell me more, Holy Spirit, tell me more. What messages do you have for Pisces? Wow, that's a lot of cards. I'm not going to take those cards, Pisces. I'm just going to take a few more. And then we're moving this over to the extended. Tell me more, Holy Spirit. messages do you have for Pisces Holy Spirit what messages do you have for Pisces okay we got healthy prioritize and we have three cards that fell on the floor here we got no okay we have gifted Pisces oh my gosh okay this is crazy I started off the reading saying that someone thinks you're psychic okay someone thinks that you have psychic gifts all right and abilities and now we have the gifted card showing up. Pisces, a lot of you, you're gifted, okay? You may think that everybody has this gift or that everybody, you know, does the same thing or everybody thinks the same way or everybody has access to this. But I'm getting that no, Pisces, you were born gifted, okay? Your spiritual abilities are already developed, okay? Like you were born this way, okay? I'm getting a lot of you, Pisces, you're psychics, okay? Or light workers, or you have access to certain gifts that other people don't have access to. All right, your ability to read energy Pisces is insane, okay? It's crazy because you know things that other people don't know. You know things about people that they haven't even told you, all right? You just pick up on it, Pisces, and yeah, I'm getting psychic. You're an intuitive psychic. We have one last card that fell on the floor here, and this is eyes. Wow. So for some of you Pisces, a lot of people are... Um, uneasy or nervous to make eye contact with you because they feel like your eyes um your eyes can see through them all right there's something about your eyes gifted and eyes for some of you pisces you were born with gifted eyes okay like you can see things that other people can't see or you can see through people I'm also hearing, Pisces, that some of you, you don't have to say much, all right? Like, your eyes are going to do the talking for you, all right? I don't know why the message is coming in this way. I've never had a reading like this before, but I feel like I'm talking to some kind of a psychic, intuitive Pisces or someone who's gifted. But yeah, like, your eyes are gifted is what I'm getting. You may have very beautiful eyes or very intense eyes is what I'm getting here. People may get nervous or may avoid eye contact. Because they feel like you just see them, Pisces, like you got some kind of x-ray vision. Yeah, like you see right through them, all right? Now prioritize showing up. For a lot of you, Pisces, you're being guided to really take your energy from the situation and prioritize your goals, prioritize your dreams, because something is manifesting for you, all right? We only have one star card in the entire tarot deck, and this is all about making dreams a reality. So you're being asked, Pisces, to prioritize your dreams at this time, 
Some of you in this year, you're aligning with your North Star. You're aligning with your purpose, with your calling. And spirit wants you to prioritize this over relationships, over other people. All right? You can never go wrong when you prioritize yourself, your gifts, um, your goals, your dreams. Okay, but yeah, something is manifesting here for you. The star is card number 17. One plus seven is eight, all right? 2024 is year number eight. For a lot of you, this is a lucky year, all right? And there's something here that you're being guided to do. There's something here that you're being guided to manifest, to work on with the eight of pentacles. And we have no, all right? Okay, this person misses you, but no, I'm getting, you're not giving them access anymore. You're not giving them a second chance, okay? I'm hearing no second chances, Tell me more. I'm going to pull a few more messages and then I'm moving this over to the extended. Tell me more, Holy Spirit. Any other messages for Pisces? Any other messages for Pisces? Wow. Okay. We got major success, Pisces. Yeah. You're about to manifest a dream into reality. All right. And a lot of you, because you're taking your power back, you're no longer in your feelings. You're no longer hurt. You're no longer in your emotions. All right. You're about to manifest some kind of major success. I'm hearing a lot of you, you're taking action, you're executing, you're making things happen, right? We got divine match. Pisces, are you kidding me, okay? We have a life partner, divine match. We got love, the empress and the emperor, okay? For a lot of you, Pisces, this was a test to prepare you for the real one, okay? For true love. Divine match, life partner, love, empress and the emperor. You're about to meet someone, Pisces, that you're not expecting. I'm hearing, Pisces, what took you so long, okay? I don't know who that is. I don't know for who that is either, but what took you so long? Some of you, Pisces, you've been waiting for this moment, for this person. And some of you, you've had a lot of karmic lessons in relationships, okay? Some of you were stuck in a lot of relationships that were karmic or were toxic or not beneficial. Like you had a lot of lessons in your life about that, okay? So you may not easily trust, you may not easily open up. <laughs> we got a double, triple confirmation, divine match, life partner, love, empress and the emperor, okay? I can't deny the cards that are here. A lot of you don't like love readings, okay? And I'm not trying to do a love reading, but when it shows up, I have to read the cards. And then we also have um, your smile makes them smile, okay? Yeah, I'm feeling like this past person they really see you, Pisces. They do. I don't know why they did what they did, okay? But it feels like this person has a lot of learning to do, all right? It feels like they're toxic. They have a lot of karmic lessons. Um, they do miss you, okay? Your smile makes them smile, all right? Um, they know that you're an empress, okay? But they also know that they messed that up. They're no longer getting that same version of you. They're no longer getting that nurturing, loving side of you, all right? Yeah, they messed it up, Pisces. And the thing is, it feels like all along, Pisces, it was meant to be this way, right? Because it's showing up as you're on the right path, right? This was a lesson that you had to learn, that you had to master in order to finally close that cycle so that you didn't keep yourself in toxic karmic relationships so that you could finally come into your divine match, into your life partner. Because I'm getting a lot of you, Pisces, you don't play the field like that, okay? You don't play games like that. So if you show up correct, you're expecting someone to show up the same way. Okay, and you may have had a lot of lessons with people that were not that it was teaching you to identify those red flags. Okay, to stand up for yourself, to do what's right, to cut them off, to revoke access so that you could finally meet the one that was aligned and meant for you. Okay, all those no's are getting you closer to that yes, Pisces, and it allowed you to close that cycle. So Pisces, I'm moving this over to the extended. The link will be in the description box below. We're gonna dive deep into who this is. What is it that you're manifesting? What are the challenges? What is spirit's advice and the final outcome as well, Pisces? And any other messages that come into the reading, um, again, the link will be in the description box below. If you want to book a personal reading and get your cards read specifically, the information is also in the description box below to book a personal reading, Pisces. I'm moving this over to the extended. Blessings. Take care.